All right, Shalom Amakyam. I'm going to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rechach, Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, and salutations to you brothers out there pushing this truth. All right, brothers, uh, uh, today's lesson is going to be entitled uh, Isaiah 4 and 2 to 6, a chariot upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion. All right? And, uh, you know, this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful chapter, man. Because the Lord is about to, uh, man, he's about to beautify the kingdom. It's something nice, man. Okay? Something nice. All right? The scriptures say that in every dwelling place that there's going to be a chariot above the dwelling place of the men of the Lord. How dope is that? How dope is that, man? You know, that should get you hyped, man. The Lord is about to beautify us, the kingdom. Man. Man, wow, the Lord is dope, man, you know, and we're going to have a beautiful kingdom, man, okay? Can you imagine looking up above your, your, your palace, what, like, what Jake liked to call today <laughs> your crib, you know? You seeing a chariot glowing, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be dope, man, you know? That's going to be dope. It's going to be beautiful, man. Imagine your, you know, your, your children going out playing and they looking up, seeing the chariot, you know, seeing how beautiful it is. You know what I'm saying? Man, I can't wait, man. You know, I'm, t I'm uh, you know, you, you get tired of not being able to uh, really take your children to to uh, places where it's uh, beautiful. You know, like how Esau get to take his children around the world, take them to different places to see the world, how beautiful it is. Hey man, we're gonna see, we're gonna see that every day, man. Okay? We're gonna see it every day. We're gonna see the beauty, the beauty of the whole universe. Alright? And upon our dwelling place is gonna be a chariot, man. How dope is that? You know? So let's get straight to it, brothers. It's uh, this is Isaiah 4 and 1, and it reads, In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. Okay? So this is referring to the elect, man. Okay? And we're going to be beautiful. Uh, beautif the Lord is going to beautify us. Okay? And our and our seeds, okay. The ones that escaped, it says that are escaped of Israel, that are delivered out of Babylon, man. Okay. That are delivered out of Babylon. Now I went into that. I've seen that word, the branch, you know, which links up with the elect, okay? Because I noticed that, uh, you know, it. Ref you know, when you hear the branch, when you read about the branch, it also refers to Yahawashai. But when it refers to Yahawashai, I noticed that the branch is capitalized. Okay? And the, the branch here is lowercase. Okay? Which this is referring to the elect. Okay? The elect. All right? So it says, in that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful. So we're going to be beautiful. The Lord's going to give us new bodies. We're going to be shining and glowing. Okay. It says in glorious. All right. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely. Matter of fact, before I go into that, let's, let's go into a precept for this word branch. All right. Let's go to Isaiah 60 and 21. Isaiah 60 and 21 reads... Thy people also shall be righteous, shall be all righteous. We're going to be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. We're going to, what land? The land of Israel. Okay? We're going to inherit the whole universe. All right? We're going to be heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. All right? It says, uh, Thy people also shall be all righteous. 
They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands that I may be glorified. All right, the branch, the branch of my planting. So Lord is going, he's going to plant us and we're going to be like trees, man. Okay. The scripture talks about how our life is going to be like a tree. Never root it up. You know? So going back to uh to uh, Isaiah 4th chapter. As a matter of fact, I got one more precept. This is Proverbs 11 and 28. And it reads, He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. All right. So the righteous is referring to the elect. All right. We're going to flourish as a branch. We're going to be spread out throughout the whole uh, universe, man. We're going to flourish, man. OK. So we got good things coming to us, brothers. All right. So going back to Isaiah four and two, it says in that day shall the branch of the Lord. Be beautiful and glorious and the fruit of the earth and you go into that word fruit all right the word fruit is from the uh hebrew word parya and it means offspring children all right so our children so the lord is going to beautify our children man okay our children is going to be uh having spiritual power glowing you know we all going to be beautified, man. Okay? We're going to be dope as hell, man. And these other nations, they're going to be drooling. They're going to be drooling, wishing they was us. All right? So it says, In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely. So in the fruit of the earth, hey, that also, you know, uh, the fruit of the earth, the actual fruit of the earth, you know what I'm saying? The land, you know, the water, the air, you know, everything's going to be beautiful. Not just our children, but everything, man. Okay, everywhere we turn is going to be beautiful. All right, that's how the Lord going to do it, man. You know, you got two thirds that don't even want that, man. So it says, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent, excellent, and calmly beautiful for them, okay, the elect that are escaped of Israel, that are delivered from Babylon, man, okay, that are delivered, that are abducted by our power, man. The Lord, the Lord, the Heavenly Father is going to send his son, Yahweh Shai, to come swoop us up and deliver us, man. You know, he's going to deliver us, man. All right. We're going to be escaped from the hell that's going to come upon this place, man. All right. And it says, uh, <clears throat> it says, and it shall come to pass. And it's going to come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. All right? So this is the elect going to be called holy. When we look up that word holy, it means pure. A saint. We are the saints. All right? We are the saints. Okay? It says, uh, it says, uh, let me see. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. Even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. Okay. You're going to have the uh, elect and the one third. All right. We're going to be delivered. All right. And we're going to be called holy. Pure. We're going to be called saints. All right. It says verse four. It says, when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst of by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. Okay, so this is the elect 
that's brought.